Hi everyone, I'm Petros from PowerCut. In this video, we'll see how Copilot can help us build desktop flows with a written description or with a recording of our voice. We'll see Copilot suggesting next actions, answering product questions, summarizing some actions or whole flows, building scripts, and repairing flows with view automation errors at runtime. In this demo, we'll download some Excel file attachments with invoice data from Outlook, enter the data into an internal system, and upload the files to SharePoint. Let's start by describing our flow. So we ask Copilot to open Outlook with an account, search for emails with subject weekly invoice data, and download the attachments to a desktop folder. After a couple of seconds, Copilot suggests all the actions along with our parameters that are needed to open Outlook, retrieve the emails, and download the attachments. Let's do a quick test to validate the results. Copilot can suggest next best actions. In this scenario, we will use the suggestion of the close Outlook action, since we don't have any other Outlook operations later in the flow. At this point, we can continue the development with the recorder and record with the help of Copilot. We just need to speak normally and describe what we're doing while we're doing it. Open the Contoso invoicing application. And select invoices. Then open the folder called weekly invoices that is located on the desktop. Open each one of the Excel files within that folder, read the data, and close the file. And then for each row of the extracted data, select New in the Contoso Invoicing application. Enter the extracted data into the Account, Contact, and Amount fields. And hit Save. At the end, close the Contoso invoicing window. That's it. A few seconds later, we have the whole backbone of the script generated by the copilot. Now let's make some small adjustments to the action parameters to make sure everything works smoothly. Copilot suggested the run application action to open the app, which is a better option than opening it with double click, for example. We update the path and we're good. The click UI element is the right action to select elements in desktop applications. And we just need to update the target control here. We can easily do that manually. Then it retrieves the Excel files and for each one it opens, reads the data and uh, closes. And then for each data row, we click on uh, new in the application and uh, populate the account, contact and amount fields. So Copilot has added the correct actions, and as soon as we update the target controls of the UI actions, we are good to go. So Copilot was able to add all the right actions, fill their parameters, created loops, even nested ones, added comments everywhere, and indicated what updates need to be done for the flow to be completed. We can also add steps to existing flows with a description. For example, let's upload all the files we downloaded earlier to a folder in a SharePoint site. Copilot generates the steps to get the local files, loop through them, and upload to SharePoint. We also get an indication to fix the connection.
After fixing that, we get another indication that the parameter file content must be binary. Copilot can help us to understand better what this means. It says that the file should be converted to binary before uploading, so we're going to ask again how to do that. And it suggests that we use the convert file to binary data action, which converts the local file's contents to binary data before upload. Now let's ask Copilot to summarize this last part of the flow. Functionality that could be useful in troubleshooting or explaining the flow to a colleague. Copilot also helps a lot with scripting. For example, even if we are not very good with BBScript, we can ask Copilot to generate a script to, let's say, delete the folder we created earlier from the desktop and it suggests a script for that. The flow is ready and Copilot can generate a flow description for us. In case of flow run errors due to missing UI elements, Copilot can suggest a fix. In another example, while triggering a desktop flow from the cloud in attended mode, a UI element is missing. Before the flow fails because of that, Copilot intervenes and suggests a fix. As soon as we accept the fix, the flow goes on. In a similar manner, when the flow runs unattended, we get a notification in the recommendation section of the Automation Center to repair the flow and fix the missing UI element. This way, the unattended run doesn't fail and continues with the next steps.